Hey there, I'm Jonathan Leap. I'm a first year student in the Masters of Science in Transportation program. My project is called Eyes Dance to That, and it's about using machine learning to discover new music that you can dance to in your dance style of choice. It's very common these days to dance a traditional dance style, but to modern music. For example, bachata can be danced to traditional music like this. It can also be danced to more modern music, even dubstep, such as this. Brazilian zouk can also be danced to its traditional music, like this. Or it can be danced to more lyrical music, such as this. Or dance to more popular music with a stronger beat, such as this. To use supervised machine learning algorithms, we first need a labeled data set. For my project, that means playlists for each dance style. For example, here I have a Zook Remix playlist. Music contains a lot of information. So it's useful to create some kind of abstraction that represents the audio files so I can train the machine learning algorithms in a less computationally intensive manner. One common way of doing this is creating what's called a spectrogram. A spectrogram is an image that effectively represents an audio clip. So the vertical, if you think of it like a graph, the vertical axis represents the frequency of sound that occurs in the music, and the horizontal axis is time, and the color of the pixel actually represents the intensity of that frequency, in other words, the volume. So here's an example of a website that creates a spectrogram from my voice. As you can see, as I'm talking, the pixels light up according to the frequencies of my voice. Now, for my project, I'm going to use the NPM package called Spectrogram, which turns MP3 files into these images. MP3 files typically contain metadata, such as the artist and genre, which I can also use in machine learning algorithms, uh, especially the simpler ones such as uh, k-nearest neighbors. In my literature review, I found that convolutional neural networks are the best tools for identifying musical genres, so I plan to use them first for my project. The TensorFlow package on NPM supports these types of models. Once I have a model trained, all I need to do is create an interface that allows a user to upload an MP3 of a song they found, and then displays a graphic showing how danceable that song is to each dance style considered in the model. So that's the plan. Now it's time to code.